Hi, my name is Bobby Funk, and today uh, we're going to talk about uh, the difference between theater and film. Theater and film uh, are very similar. The, the acting uh, is much the same. Uh, the only difference is uh, for film, acting is very, very small, very tiny. Uh, there are not big gestures and uh, people talk in a more relaxed manner. Uh, in theater, you elevate that, you make it bigger. Uh, you make the action and the voice fit the space that you're performing in so that the audience can hear and see what you're doing. Um, Technically, uh, things are pretty much the same in film and theater. Uh, the lighting, uh, the scenery, all that is, is pretty much the same. Now, in, in film, they use a lot more light uh, because of uh, setting moods uh, and making sure that light is on the actors. Um, the big difference between theater and film is the audience. The audience plays a huge role in live theater. In film, doesn't matter. Uh, if you go see uh, Denzel Washington, a uh, film that he is in, uh, Denzel does not care uh, what you do in the audience. You can eat all the popcorn you want, it does not bother him because he's not there. It's not live. Now, go see Denzel Washington live on Broadway, and you had better behave yourself. And what I mean by that is, in live theater, there is a sharing between audience and the actors. The great acting teacher Stanislavski called this communion. Uh, when he said communion, he was talking about the sharing between two actors and the audience. So when you see really good actors and they're performing, the actors, if they talk to one another and they listen, take in what is said and respond, it becomes believable. The audience is pulled into that scene. They, they forget, if only for a moment, that they're in the theater. They feel that they are part of the action, part of what's going on in the play. And that sharing, that, that communion is very, very important for this group experience. So if someone in the audience is doing something that would distract other audience members or even worse, the actors, it will destroy that communion. It will destroy the group experience. One of the main culprits in these days and times is the, is the cell phone. People uh, come to plays, they bring their cell phones, the cell phone goes off during the performance, uh, that takes the audience out of the play. It also will greatly disturb uh, the actors on stage. Uh, I've even seen people uh, at a, a play, uh, I was ready to, to go after a young woman once who was sitting um, in the middle of the theater and during the performance she decided she needed to take some selfies. And here she was, you know, posing and she took pictures of herself while the performance was in progress. That is bad form. That, that is not good audience behavior. Uh, when you go to a play, turn that cell phone off. Extremely important. Turn the cell phone off. You do not text during the play. 
Just opening the phones shoots out light, and everybody in the audience sees that. Uh, you may think you're hiding the phone, but you're not. We, we see the light in the dark theater. And it bothers other audience members and can bother the actor on stage. So when you go to the play, turn that phone off, pay attention to what's going on, listen to the actors, and hopefully, by doing so, you'll get pulled into that production and communion will take place. This is of utmost importance. And if you learn nothing else uh, in this class, learn to be a good audience member. Now, I'm going to shift um, this lecture a little bit, and I want to talk um, about uh, dramatic structure. And uh, before we do this, I want you to make sure that you go online. We're going to post uh, the address uh, here. And I want you to find the film Medea. Medea um, is by the Greek playwright Euripides. He lived between 480 BC and 406 BC. Uh, Euripides um, wrote this tragedy. It, it's, a, it's a great play, and it holds up to time. I want you to see that play. And the version that I want you to watch stars an actress named Zoe Caldwell. And uh, it's a new adaptation, relatively new adaptation, uh, by a man by the name of Robinson Jeffers. Watch that film, because the next few lectures uh, that we do are going to tie into that play. So, see the play Medea. It's online, and as I said, we're going to post the address here. To talk about Medea, I'm bringing in a special guest artist, and I hope that you enjoy this.